Well, hello everyone. The Interior Gardener back here with another played up tutorial. This is one for after the Halloween update, which has been out for a few weeks at this point of, of the term time of recording this video. And this is auto fish six ways. Currently there's redfish, bluefish, filet, oyster, crab cake, and spiny fish. The first four red, blue, oyster fillets can be set up follow my mouse here, using this exact design right here. You have your two fish bins, grabber to mixer or conveyor mixer, safety hob, grabber, prep station. The fillets will get chopped up, they'll get cooked, the red blues get cooked no matter what side, the oysters will bypass the cooking, but they'll still get chopped up and go right here. This is pretty much the gold standard as far as my design of having auto fish, something like this. It's very low, you know, item intense, I guess, appliance intense. Uh, you can get rid of, you don't even have to have conveyor mixers. You can have regular grabbers here. These could be regular mixers. Uh, you wouldn't want to use heated mixers because the heated mixers will start to cook the fish here. And you really don't want that because it's too slow to keep up with what you're going to be doing. It's for, especially if you have oysters and something else is you're going to be going through a lot of fish or even both fish, by the way. Bluefish take a long time to cook even on the new and improved heated mixer. So this is these four. And you're like, you're like okay, cool. What about crab cakes? Well, the line over here, I have both lines set up which is basically spiny fish and crab cake. Spiny fish is different because you have to remove the spine using a portioner. It's the same on both sides. It's a, it's a mirrored image. You, you portion it, then it passes through and it cooks it, puts it in preposition. Crab cakes are more involved than that. Take the crab cake over here. You mix the crab or you chop the cat, crab basically. Your egg gets chopped with the mixer, push on the combiner, puts it on here, and then you have flour and you dab it with flour. You have to do it in that order. You have to go uh, crab, which makes the patties, or the crab, I should say, that makes the egg, which makes the patty, like the crab cake patty, and then it douses the flour, and then you cook it. I mean, you're not frying it in a sense, but you're still cooking it, and then it goes to the prep station. Same thing on this side. Now, you may say to yourself, okay, well, what happens in the middle? Well, it doesn't matter what happens in the middle. Because say you have spiny fish, right? Spiny fish will get pulled out of this side. This one will have spiny fish as well, but nothing will happen to them. They'll just stick down, they'll just sit down here. And as long as you don't grab them, you're fine. Because the spiny fish cooked versus the spiny fish raw look completely different. One looks kind of green and brown, the other one looks yellow or orange. Crab cake's the same thing. If this is a crab cake, it'll pull it and it'll sit right at this stage. It won't pull it past this because you can't, you can't cook it past this. Um, and even if there's some kind of little glitch where it will pull past, it just sits here as a raw chopped crab, which doesn't mean anything, which is why you want to have this set up and you say, okay, well, what if you have a spiny fish and crab cake? Well, what will happen is one of them will prioritize the one side, one will prioritize the other side because both bins aren't linked to the same. Like basically if you draw a line in the middle, this is one whole system and this is the other whole system, right? Which is you know, basic. So if this is crab cake and this is spiny fish, great. If it's the other way, it's fine. But these lines never combine with each other. So there's no risk of this getting clogged up because if this is crab cake, this line is dead. This isn't doing anything. If this is spiny fish, this line isn't doing anything. It won't be pulling anything from this. And you may say, oh, you should make it more compact. The problem is, is, is if you push something onto a smart grabber from a grabber, it'll automatically turn to that every single time. And what will end up happening is this will end up breaking. So you want to set this up like this, where you have a bit of an, a buffer going here. Instead of dr dropping this straight to here, have a buffer of an extra conveyor, or an extra grabber, if you will, on each side. Now, could you use conveyor belts here? You could use one conveyor here. You could use, these could be conveyor belts. These could be conveyor belts. Um, again, use your conveyor belts where you need to, but most people just bypass them and go right up to grabbers, uh, cornering grabbers or rotating grabbers or smart grabbers. So... You say, okay, well, great. What's with this bin? Well, this is this is the asterisk, as I pointed out earlier. If you have the third bin slot, which is actually this card right here, if you have the third fish selection slot, this this setup will not work. It won't work unless you have, if you have two people and you have someone standing back here feeding this to one of these sides, it will work, but it's not, it's a bit more involved than that. And you say, okay, well, what if it's this? You could just stick it here. Yeah, but you, you can't you can't reliably take this and stick a grabber here because what happens if, if this is oyster, this is crab cake or crab, and this is bluefish? Well, you're going to try to combine these on the same line, and it's not going to work. You know what I mean? So I will do a separate video on having the third fish bin or the third fish selection 
fully automated. It is very much able. It, it is able to be done. It just involves a little bit more, um, a little bit more work, which obviously isn't going to be in this video. So anyway, um, we're going to let this run. And now the thing is, though, with this, we'll do practicing probably a couple times because when you do fish again, the bins are random, and we basically want to have at least a crab or a spiny fish, which again is why this bin is here. So if one of these isn't what I want it to be, I'll make it. I'll just I'll just run it by myself. I can just manually take this and stick it here just to show you how this works. So without further ado, let's go in and use practice mode. We'll get lucky. There we go, spiny fish. See, so what, exactly what I said before. If you look at the spiny fish on this line where my mouse is specifically, the bone's being taken out. You get to put into, also you need jiggly bins, by the way. Jiggly bin, just cooking it. Now down here you say, well, yeah, you can grab this though. You can, but it's it's significantly, it, it's totally a different color. Uh, this is the ones that aren't cooked. These are the ones that are cooked. And then of course here we have oysters. This line over here, everything will, will prep itself automatically. Same thing with on this side, because again, these are mirror images. Um, this will prep, but if nothing's coming through here, it'll just sit here the whole run and won't do anything. And down here, as you can see, basically the jiggly bin, by the time this comes down here and cooks, the jiggly bin is pretty much done. Let's just watch to see how these, this is finished, and now this is finished. So there's this little bit of a, maybe, a, I don't know, one second delay or something like that. But again, once it starts backing up, this will catch up. And I mean, I don't think you're gonna be having that many uh, spiny fish. Now, what you could do is you could put a frozen prep station here, and you could put a frozen prep station here and just put, say, put extra crab cake in this one, or put spiny fish in this one, like cooked ones, like in a frozen prep, because it's a man, it'll mainly be done. And there you go. Let's get out of practice mode. You understand how this works? Let's just run a practice mode a couple, let's just do it a couple more times. Let's see if we can get crab cakes to spawn. There we did not. Okay, so here's a good example. So we don't have spiny fish or crab cake. Well, let's see what's happening. Oysters being cooked or chopped, I should say, passing right through. Your fillets are being chopped at the top here. And then they're going right through as intended. These other slots on this side, you see, on this side and this side, they're not being used because there's no fish being taken from them. And I don't even have one to demonstrate if, if one of these would be the crab cake I could show you up here. But basically what this means down here is even though this would be manual, you can manually do this. You know, you can manually do this. Say as these are backing up, just manually move them. Because it basically opens up. Now you have two prep stations full of everything. You know what I mean? And because these aren't frozen, at the end of the day, they'll just go away. So it doesn't really matter. So this is a setup without having crab or spiny fish. Let's see if we can run. I want to run it maybe two or three more times. Let's see if we can get crab cakes to spawn. And oh, we did. Look, but it's up here. So you see what happens. It's like, okay, these are going to run as they run. And you say, okay, well, what about the crab cake? Well, to simulate what happens, let's say crab cake would spawn on this side. There you go. So it's gonna, I, mean, I can just load this up. It doesn't really matter. Crab cake gets chopped over here with the mixer. Egg is instantly turned into make it to patties. Or I call them the patties, the cakes. And then it's instantly hit with the flour. And then boom, we are right, um, I'm sorry here. We're right here. And then the egg, boom, boom. And then right in here. Now, again, if this was a frozen prep station here, you could frozen prep this. And this is an idea, a little sneak peek about what this design will look like once the third fish bin is added, which again, will be a different video because most people don't take the third fish bin. And if you're trying to do some kind of late game automation, there's, in my opinion, there's no better way to do it than this where it's consistent every single time, every single time. All right, let's just go. Let's just do practice. Let's do two more times. I'd love to see spiny. Oh, there's okay. The crabs on this side. Look. So what's going to happen? As I said before, the crab is going to come down to the safety hob. It's going to pass right through. And it's just going to sit here. It's going to sit here and do nothing because you can't serve this. It's just the way it is. But on this side, look at this. These are automatically getting done. The eggs being chopped, turning into the chopped into a pad. Like it's instant, by the way. It's instant done. This one's being floured, instantly being cooked. And I mean, crab cakes don't take that long to cook compared to a bluefish. And there you go. And again, if you'd have frozen preps here, or I mean, for, I mean, again, you could you you could use these prep stations like this, right? You could use that. There you go. Or you could take ones from here and put it over here. So I mean, at the end of the day, you could put two prep stations here. There'd be a perfect spot for it. But again, that's not part of us cleaning this mess. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if there's a mess there. So it doesn't matter, you know, because that, there you go. If you want, you could add two prep stations here, just to have space. But again, it's not necessary for the automation. 
Now, I know someone out there is going to say, well, you know, you can make this a lot more compact. Just do one run to Inuit. If you'd like to do, go ahead and do that, go right ahead. But I find this is the best way to do it. All right, that's not what I want. I want to try to get, I would like to get spiny fish and crab cake. I don't, it's going to be very hard. Oh, boom, we got it. Okay, so oysters are being cut. We're not using oysters, right? Okay, so we got spiny fish. Now, again, it's not going to pull it from the correct bin because that bin isn't being used. But here we go, and here we go. So this is simulating that the oyster bin um, would be the spiny fish. And again, this will pass right through here because it's not being used by anything. And you say, well, why don't you set a smart grab? Well, no, 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 because it doesn't matter. Whatever whatever these other ones turn into when one of these spawns, it doesn't matter. It's just extra. And there's no reason to try to eliminate this by putting it into a bin. It, it's just not worth it. Until you can get, until there's like logic grabbers where you could set multiple devices or multiple dishes, that would really be a game changer because these designs could be very, very more, could be much more compact than, than how you have it here. If you could have a grabber, like a smart grabber up here that you could set to four different kind of fish, and this one could be set to two different type of fish, this, you would need you would need a quarter of this material. You could need half of half of this run, and you could set all the bins for that. But for now, you can't do that, which is fine. <laughs> Let's get out of practice mode. So this, this was a bit of a tricky one to, to do because I mainly had to play to OT day seven on this map to unlock all six fish dishes. But to me, this is the best way to go about doing it to where it's actually easy. It's mirrored. Uh, for each side, you need, you know, three mixers or corner or, or conveyor mixers, a couple hobs, some combiners, portioners. Because basically what you're doing is you're combining in these two lines on either side, you're combining how to prepare spiny fish and how to prepare crab cakes. Crab cakes don't need to be deboned, so they pass right through this part. And then you get added your flour and your egg. Spiny fish need to be deboned, which is through this, but they don't take egg or flour. And they pass right through it, and they, they cook and right to your prep stations. Anyway, guys, sorry if this is a bit long. Again, this is the ideal setup for two fish bins. So just imagine that we don't have this fish bin here. Say it's over. Whoop. <laughs> Say it's over here. You can't see it, right? And there you go. If you have the third fish bin, stay tuned because there will be another episode out about automating fully 100%, no backup, no mess ups, nothing. I guess you call it no backups, right? Because you're not you're not breaking anything. It'll run flawlessly for your entire length of your day, your lion tank to your liar entire length of your day and an entire length of your run. That is a mouthful to say. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you like my content, please consider leaving me a subscribe to my channel. We'd really appreciate it. I know I'm getting thousands of views from you guys and I'd love if every one of you would be a subscriber it would be, would be really helpful for me if you enjoyed this video exclusively and enjoy this type of content please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment on the video I always respond to all my people who comment either with a thumbs up a heart or a personalized comment right back I always love feedback constructive feedback or otherwise if you want to say this design is stupid you go right ahead and do that because that is your that is your opinion but for me this is the ultimate guide the ultimate way to automate six fish with one setup. Is there a better one? Go right ahead and do it. But to me, this is the definitive way to do it. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. This took a while to do, so I'm, I'm quite proud of this design. So hopefully this design doesn't break in the future patches, future updates, and we can use this design for, uh, for many, many more months to come. Thanks, guys, and have a wonderful day. Catch you next time. Take care.